so guys i have a major update for um the galaxy s 10 and of course it's the s10 plus if i go to settings if i go down to software and it's of course the december update or should it should i say the november update and this update was of um sorry it's a december update available on i think let me make sure i'm telling the truth it's a december 1st update 2019 and it's a very large update guys as you can see here it shows here it's 1979.05 um, megabyte today is the second of course different people getting this update at different times and different depends on your carrier so if you're on some us carriers you might just get it a little bit later and of course this is the international unlock fully unlocked version and the reason why i said this is a very big um, update guys is because the size is all of almost two gigs which is 1979.05 megabytes and that's very large you can see the update on the version right there security patch level is of um, december 1st 2019 and it says basically it's a one ui to upgrade the android 10 one ui 2 brings you android 10 with existing new features from exciting new features from samsung and google based on feedback from users like we recommend that you back up your important data yada yada what's new you get a dark mode icons and colors smoother animation full screen gestures refined interactions one-handed mode accessibility better text over wallpaper media and devices biometrics device care digital well-being camera and of course there's improvement in the layout so you can focus on taking pictures internet samsung contacts calendar reminders my files calculator connect connected car tips and so on all right so basically it's a overall update and it's very large so we're going to check this out so it says you do get android um upgraded with android 10 so one ui 2 upgraded with android 10 uh, just let's make sure that what version of Android we're on. So I'll scroll down to about uh, If I go into software information here, we're on Android 9 So guys will be updating to Android 10 and Android 10 will also feature the All right, so this will be Android um, 10. So this is a very big update. So I was on Android 9 as you can see this is the um, One UI version 1.1 will be getting version 2 and let's just give a quick overview of what the normal ui looks like all right guys so check out the usual ui i'll just show you the layout as you can see here um this is the general layout i have it on the dark mode right now i can switch it over to from night mode this is the normal layout you can see the icons you can see the notification area you can see the icons right here and what they generally look like i can also run it through settings can see what the general settings look like so android 10 should be a very big update um, from android 9 All right, as you can see the download is say, in four minutes so in four minutes we should see the brand new um, ui interface with everything all right guys so i have just updated to android 10 and of course android 10 or android q depending on the google's naming scheme so far so good uh, the first things i noticed right off the bat as soon as the update was finished how sharp is how sharp the icons have become i don't know if you can actually see this on the camera but the icons have gotten super sharp so i noticed that the some of the contrast on screen has been turned way up things look so much sharper than before and of course i have noticed these even in the photos and so on uh, i'm going to show you some of the things that i've noticed right off the bat there are many settings change so the first one is the sharpness of the icons that's the first thing next i'll show you what's going on up here on screen the layout of the settings is basically the same but of course there are some slight changes as well in the way notifications are compiled on screen i do not have any notifications right now to show you but of course one of the things that i've noticed is um this new feature here called um focus mode and you'll check it out right here it was just added if you tap on it it will give you a few options and it shows you if you're in work time or me time and basically focus mode i think is basically going to give you more time so you can actually um, stay away from your device so in case you tell it you're in work time or me time all right i have the um search through the option but later on i'll check this out as i want to have um, a special video on this one to show you what it does so i won't go too deeply and of course again 
I have noticed some others. I do not know if this one was already there, but I've just noticed it. And this one is screen recorder. And of course, screen recorder will allow you to record the screen. Simply tap and it gives you some options. And then you can record the display. You can record sound from the speaker, from the mic and so on. It will work. Um, work. No need for you to actually get a third party screen recorder. So I'll just show you the display here. You can pause and see if you see anything new. As for me, I just noticed the addition of, I think, the focus mode and the screen recorder. All favorites are here, such as dark mode and all that. And of course, if we were to go into settings, and one of the first things you tend to go for is about, then go into software information to show you that we're actually on um, Android uh, 10. As you can see here, it says Android version 10, and it says One UI version 2.0. And of course, this, we can tap on the build number. This is the new animation. I was wondering what was happening as I was tapping, expecting to see some change. But the change is this. You can actually move around the Android on screen. You can actually take the number system, and basically change up what you see, which is quite cool. So you have the Android right now, and it's showing you Android 10, which is not bad considering the features. So this is Android 10 on the Samsung Galaxy S10. Quite cool. And of course, I'm just going to go back. And that was one of the major changes. Otherwise, guys, I've also noticed that there are some other cool changes here, including um, the additions of some new settings. One of those that I've noticed is the addition of this feature here that says digital well-being and parental control so you can actually go in here to control and add parental controls such as if your kids use your phone and so on we can delve deeper into that later on i've also noticed a simplification of settings for example if you come in here normally you'd have to go into sound mode to be able to change the sounds but of course those are not here anymore they are now um, simplified and instead of having to dig too deep you can actually see them more front and center and there are more changes along the way such as um, in some of these menus some of these are the same overall but of course there are certain tweaks as you can see some of these are uh, readily identifiable you can now see um, disabled apps so if an app is auto disabled you can actually see it if you go into the settings here you'll notice that right down here you have um, the option to open uninstall or force stop that's a new one of course you'd have to go before into areas such as um, storage or so on you can always clear cache you can see the cache there and so on and of course the option is now down here to clear data and clear cache so that's a brand new layout kind of change things around so things are not in the usual location you now get the options down here once you're inside the app to force stop it and so on um, if you wanted to so you can just go ahead and force stop you see the options right there so that's um brand new other little things that i've noticed i've changed too let me just show you some more um on the um, software update our account backup um, that's another cool one you can back up and restore you give all the options here that you have such as samsung cloud smart um, smart switch and you have the options to back up and restore more conveniently located you have your location settings as you see they're all here you can actually control those better um, you can see also your connections these are all um, normal i'm just looking for something else that has changed you can go into privacy now and once in privacy you can change like your permission for apps and so on everything is arranged under privacy including access to your ads and so on so things have been simplified some things have been placed up front and given their own category to actually make it easier another one that has been modified a bit is biometrics and security if you go into biometrics and security you do see here everything more front and center you can even see your um, google play version you can check for the latest version of google play so you can always check for updates um, there's an update here i'm just going to download and that's for um, to make sure that you're up on the latest version and this is always best to make sure that everything is in one area you can encrypt your sd card you can secure your folder and you can install um, unknown apps and of course the settings are changed around 
Now it's under biometric and security, which makes perfect sense. So you see install unknown apps, and the options are right here. Um, you have your Samsung Pass and so on. So basically, this is the new layout. I can show you the camera settings as well. As you can see again, here we have some changes to the camera. Check this out, guys. You can see the usual um, photo options there. You have photo. And of course, you notice there are some options up here. If I tap right there, it says motion photo is on. I can turn motion photo off. That was not there before. Of course, there is the picture settings right here. I'll just keep it on the one that it is now. And of course, you can see the photo settings. I can basically run you through. You can always pause and see if anything has changed. Everything seems about normal. But of course, there are little tweaks. We can see a shutter here. Down here, let's see what this is. It's for scene optimization. The animation has changed a bit. There is um, video. And of course, you can see the settings for video right here. And of course, you can see right there. And what I'm going to do here, guys, you can see another option here. I do not know what that is. Oh, and that's the front-facing camera. It does switch around, so that animation has changed. And of course, there, there's a number of options in here. And it does say more over here. And you do see a bunch of options such as food, AR emoji, Bixby, Instagram, and so on. And I can just scroll through the options. So the options have been limited. But of course, a lot of them is now on the more section down here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to um, exit. All right. Um, that's about it for the camera. I'll just show you the gallery now, guys. So let's take a picture here. All right. Check out the gallery. All right, so let's check out the gallery. The photos look about the same, but the pictures inside of the gallery do look sharper. So that's a new addition there. Um, I do not know if I can show you here, but the picture quality does look a little bit sharper. I don't know if they have tweaked something about the display. So let's close that out. And of course, those are the tweaks. If you have any other direct questions, I can answer them below. So just do a go ahead, guys. I love to answer those questions. So of course, this is the Android uh, 10 update. We'll have more tutorials coming. Um, if you have any questions, do feel free to ask. I'll gladly answer them. This is Ricardo Garner from Block Tech Tips. So that's a quick tips showing you what's new with the latest version of Android that has been rolled out. Thank you guys for tuning in.